vote there. So Tuesday, January 9th, 2024, first meeting of the year. I uh, call this meeting to order. Uh, seat alternatives. First of all, I wanted to welcome officially Mark Johnson, who the selectmen appointed as a long vacant open seat. So he is uh, on the board as an alternate. So uh, we can seat some additional alternates. Um, I did want to just briefly uh, touch on Carrie's passing. Um, I was Hunter and I were able, and Tracy was there, uh, go over to see uh, her husband, Bill, and give our condolences. So just wanted to recognize Carrie's long time on the board, and she'll be missed. I don't know if anybody wants to add anything else, but just wanted to make that. So um, let's see alternatives. Um, we'll see Mark for Adele, who's sick. I want to make that motion. So moved. Second. Second. Um, I guess I'll take Scott second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. And then um, Scott will seat you for um, for Hunter tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll make that motion. Second. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, second item to do was to fill Carrie's open seat. Um, Scott has indicated he's interested in taking that seat. I don't know if you wanted to say a word or two about that or? No, I mean, you know, looking to obviously be back on the finance full time. You know, now that I'm working from home, not commuting except for on Tuesday nights. <laughs> Tuesday's my only office day in Worcester, Mass, but I can make it work. So, um, but no, now I have the more time that I'm not on the road traveling the world post COVID. So, I, you know, looking forward to being involved with you guys all again. So, would someone like to make a motion to? I'd like to make that motion. Uh, I was appreciated. All you've done for the board and for the town. <clears throat> Thank you. And I also make that a form of vote. I'll second it. Tracy, second. <clears throat> um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 I hear no opposed. So moved. Welcome to the board. Full member. Thank you. It's sworn in. Yes. Well, so you, you um, I believe, put in a letter yeah. of resignation yeah. for your alternate spot. So get sworn in tomorrow or mm -hmm. whenever, it would be great. And so that actually leaves one additional alternate spot. Uh, anybody knows of anybody? Um, like to have that filled by us as mm -hmm. opposed to waiting 30 days from today, which then goes to the selectmen to fill. So if anybody knows of anybody that would like to serve, I think it's- Not with the 10-foot pole. I'm sorry? Not with the 10-foot pole? Um, and party affiliation doesn't matter. Well, that's a question because it does matter with alternates. So yeah, you filled the Republican. Are you now that we're open? I'm, I'm a Dem, actually. Okay. Okay, that's a little weird. Um, I, I'm not touching that. I'm just yeah, that's a that's a whole other. Thing. Okay. No, well, I, I'm yeah. I don't know if it matters for alternates. Um, it does. Okay. Because of minority representation, there's right. going to be one of each. So, it, I know mean, I, I was under the understanding that it didn't necessarily mean just for alternates. It had to be minority representation for the entire board, including alternates. Right, but you put two Republican alternates, you don't you wipe majority rep. You wipe the quote out. So that's why it's always been the alternates have been one Democrat, one Republican. Mm -hmm. But technically, you're sitting in a Republican seat as a registered Dem. That's why I, that's a town foot thing. Okay. But you can switch over and fill the Republican. Right. But it's going to start to matter. Well, you're a Democrat. Democrat. Yeah. Democrat. It doesn't matter what. Yes. Yeah. Once you're seated, yeah. it doesn't matter which, which party affiliation. You're seated in 
what you were on the ballot for. Right. The empty seat, the open seat, was Hunter's seat, which was a Republican ultimate. So that seat is open seat. Okay. What if we just look for somebody you're interested? And then we you can't. Yeah. 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 Jerry State will tell you, yeah, that doesn't yeah. work so well, but you can, sure. Okay. Uh, some people. I'll say. Yeah. Um well you can switch it around too. Yeah. Sure. You have Democrat and well, open seat. So you well, I was actually have, I'm a registered Democrat, but, doesn't matter. but you're Phil, but you're a Republican. Republican in this meeting. It doesn't, you're not even a Democrat. You're a registered, Republican. you're a Republican right here. Yes. So yep. it doesn't so I was voting the problem. Uh, okay, so let me know if you uh, okay. Uh, or actually when you go to the town clerk, if you could just ask her. Yeah, well, because depending on who you get, you might just be able to switch it around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I mean. I was like, I don't want to do it. Yeah. And you've been sworn in, correct? I have. You yeah. can quit and be resworn. Yeah. yeah. Quit and be resworn. Okay. But we don't have anybody else, so maybe it's just. Yeah. I'll ask some people. Day. Cool. Um, I sent around the uh, the actuals and expenditures. I don't know, Rick, if uh, you're on, I would love for you to. Uh, Maybe I'll just open up the overage yeah, report. Kind of yeah, so just go down further. Those aren't really overages. Those are things without budgets. Uh, if you head down to like the bottom of this page. Uh, so yeah, like right there, the second. Go up a little bit, if you don't mind. So I, I know we, we go up one, about another half inch right there. Oh, so tax refunds. Okay, that doesn't matter. So, I mean, we talked about the gear. Um, that was a big um, FEMA grant that he received. Um, it didn't cover it 100%. I think it covered it like 96%. So that's why he's over in that line. Mm -hmm. uh, tax collector post, uh, postage has gone up. Um, so she's, she's a little bit over on her line. And I don't think that's going to have any effect on her uh, yearly budget. Um, Town clerk computer will come off next month. Um, that if you look at outstanding encumbrances, yeah. that um that PO for some reason um didn't sit well on our system. So I had to cancel the PO and reissue a new one for this month. Mm -hmm. Um that that is not over as a as a whole. Um if I'm going too fast, just stop me. Don't, no, no, don't keep going. none of these none of these are really not nothing's really big. Um, just a lot of tedious little ones. Uh, assessor's computer expense is really um, has really taken off the cost of the stuff that she has to have to do her job. Um, all the computer and books and different stuff that she has bought. Um, it hasn't gone up to normal five to seven percent that most stuff went up. She had she had one that doubled. It went from seven hundred twenty dollars to fourteen hundred dollars. Um, then she had another one that went up 12 percent um so her that line item's gonna um that line item's probably gonna be a problem um I don't think we're gonna be able to fix that one as a whole um she has a tight budget um right now you know I did speak to her that she you know to do what she has to do to come in under you know mm -hmm. make sure she doesn't go over and Tom has spoken to her also um, we just got to watch to see what her needs are because um, they do a lot of printing and a lot of work down there and her budget doesn't really have a lot of fluff in it. So we just have to watch that one. It will never be anything big. Right. But we, don't depart we don't want a department over if we don't have to be. Um, the COG I sent you earlier, that's just dues and that's based on um, the head count of the town. Same thing with the Board of Health. I think we spoke about that later before. Um, plow bit blades 43 cents. Um, I don't think there's nothing there. And then transfer station OSHA, those are the new signs. I don't know how much you guys know about the new recycling things that have to go into place as far as uh, they have to now recycle food. Did you guys hear about yes. that? Uh, it's so not they, in this meeting, but sort of anecdotally. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's come out yet. What the town actually? Well, you guys don't have to recycle, but you have the ability to recycle to reduce your refuge. You know how much you guys are paying and um, taking the and just bringing it to a place to get burnt. So he has to have now multiple stations for um, when you guys go to the transfer station to sort all recyclables. Um, so 
I don't, I'm, I'm assuming you guys go there. He's done a lot with signage and this is exactly, it went over by $60 and 12 cents. He will not be over as from this at all. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just that line items over. Okay. You know, he and bought I, that from the state. Okay. And you got my note about the, um, the sander. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, you know, we'll watch it as it goes goes on. I mean, everything in highway has just gone through the roof. I mean, they do a lot of in-house work, and I give them a lot of credit for the jobs they take on that we don't actually have to pay a contractor to come in do. Right. But man, everything is just so expensive. No matter no matter what he buys to do something, it's it's just not it, it's just gone crazy. So, um, but yes, I I we'll keep an eye on it as the next months go through. Okay. Do you know if that was uh your purchase order generated for that? Um you know, I know he said it was supposed to, if he was able to do it, it was gonna be this month. Um I believe he I do have a well no, because he just gave you the second quote, right? I don't he know gave if you I the second that. quote, but basically we didn't really need it. Um, because we're gonna just use the Tracy had made the recommendation last meeting to just use the funds within um, yeah. maintenance. I no, but I think uh, no. He, it, no, it was good for him to get another quote. Yeah. Though. No, no, I understand. He, he did provide it, and it was like yeah. two thousand dollars more. Yeah, and I. The only reason I said I, even if I have a PO, I'm probably going to have to cancel it because I opened up, I opened up a, a capital account, but now that we're not going to use it, I'm going to have to redo the PO. But that that's no big deal. That's just a couple of keystrokes. But um, no, I, no, we. I read your note. That makes sense, and we'll just go from there. Okay. Anything else on any of these other? No, just um, you know, we we have some longevity. Um, next month you're going to see some longevity uh, line items that weren't in the budget um, with the contract at five years. Um, some of the people popped this year, so you, you'll see like the assessor is going to have longevity, and I believe planning and zoning. It's not big money; it's 150 per year. Um, mm -hmm. But just to let you guys know that you're going to see next month something that wasn't appropriated but it has a dollar amount against i just want to make sure it's in the right bucket also we're looking at taking all our longevity and just making one account for it since it's just based on um instead of leaving it in someone's budget line item just combine them all into one and because laura will have that information and in what the cost is going to be on oh, the town so for the town we'll get so hung for that what well, it's like the health insurance. There's no right answer to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I mean, if I only out. have one light item, okay. and we, God forbid, the person well, leaves. They, I'm just saying. I mean, the good thing is if we keep it under one line item, mm -hmm. if someone leaves and they have a big dollar amount, you exactly. know, the area doesn't say, "Oh, I could use that money somewhere else now." You know, just put it in one spot. Yeah. Okay. And then the. Uh... Hey, I don't have any insurance in one line and paid daily for that ever since. So the um, I mean everything's going well there too. I mean, yeah, we can't we can't stop the inspect you know the building inspections uh inspectors pay. I think he's already at like eighty percent if you go down a little bit. Um, that's great news. Um, nothing really. I mean, we're. I mean, as far as collections go, we seem to be doing fine. I mean, transfer stations doing fine. Um, really, no surprises as far as I can see. I mean, the good news is we're either going to be above plan, or um, you know, again, we're probably going to be over above plan. I mean, interest rates are still staying high. Um, you know, I, I think there are going to be some adjustments coming, but we're still doing well there, and um. Yeah, really no issues as far as, you know, collecting money. Yeah, I mean, February will be a better yeah. indicator because that's, you know, it's post, you know, due dates for January. taxes. Yeah. Post yeah, January. and also, yeah, I mean, she's at 50, I think she's at 57% at the end of December. So that's that's great news. Um, huh? You know, you're over half the, half the year. So that's good news. So, yep. A lot of positive things with that as far as the money goes. And same thing with the spend. I don't, there's, I mean, unless something out of the ordinary comes, everyone seems to be holding their own and staying within. There's really hasn't been any surprise yet this year. 
Right. So when you so I saw that you had sent out and I included it in this um, all the preliminary budgets. Yeah, I do this every year. So I, I send them all to every department so they can um, enter their, I don't want to say wish list, but just to go through their, um, you know, their budgets. And what I, information I give them is the same information I give you guys to make a decision once they come back with what they want um, based on, you know, how they, what their budget was in 2022, 2023, and then what they actually spent, which is the adjusted column. So that's C and D. Yeah. And then, E, EFG's just this year's budget, but it allows them to make an intelligent. You guys can look back at last, you know, what they spent. Well, that's so, only two years back, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of things have changed in two years, but it still gives you a good, you know, judge of what's going on, which ones were over before. Because what they're going to, you know, what, what usually happens is they'll ask for more monies on light items they went over the year before, but then you could also say, okay, you were lower here at this point. You know, well, that's why you three, I think. Yeah. Maybe we just adjust the monies versus, you know, adding more money to a line item. You could add money to a line item, but take away from somewhere else. Yeah. And then 23, 24, we're in, so we can't really do actuals at this point. But No, yeah, I mean, you get them, at, you, honestly, we get them, you get them every month. Actually, no, no, I know, but this was, this is what was adjusted. So line item D, right? Yeah. yeah. Was what their total spend was for those line okay. items. Correct. Yeah, so it would be good to see like a little bit more history. Yeah. Right. 21, 22 would be nice to see. That's why we went three years because you can't. Yeah. It's only, can we, can we go back one more, Rick? Yeah, we have all the information. What, what do you mean? Um... 21, 22 approves and adjusts. Because really, we only have one year of actual, like, and right. then 23, 24 is year to date, you know, in terms of like, doesn't, it's not a full Correct. year yeah, spend rate. Yeah. That's all. We're only looking at one year back. That's true. I mean, okay, so you want me to try to drop in two more columns? Yeah, that would yeah. be great. I don't know if I'll have the. Well, I should have the. I'd have to. I might have to hand uh, key the. You the don't. budget in. I have it somewhere. Mm. I'm sure. Well, even if yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think you're just adding twenty one, twenty two. Which is somewhere. I know, but it's not. It's not just adding because it's, it's like six hundred lines. But yeah, well, I, mean, well, like, but Rick, I know what you you're know, saying. You have to key it in because everybody sitting at this table right now has the budget that has twenty one, twenty two, yeah, yep. approved and adjusted in it. Yeah, all of us do. Right. We don't have the new ones, so we didn't overwrite it. Yeah. So, keep, you could send him last year's spreadsheet, which has twenty one, twenty two in it. Yeah, you can then just insert two lines copy and paste and then go the what's going to mess you up is the, the stuff on the back end right yeah i know how to do it it's it's again trust we me, all I, have I, last year's budget. budget i have i'm not saying i don't have the budget i'm what i'm saying is it i'll do it don't worry about it oh, get right. i did this one i'm going to do the put the two things back in rick what have you gotten just out of curiosity for like sandy beach I think it's eight thousand. Have you got no, like they don't do that? That we don't send that to them. I don't. We don't send them one. So yeah. This ain't every. This isn't every tab. These are the people we deal with. That well, uh, it's not people. on there. What's so that? my actually my question was more about you know re, having read the interlocal new lo, interlocal agreement. Yeah, they're supposed to submit their financials to us to us to the board of finance. And, and so is that something that you're going to request or we're requesting? Because it's very clear in the agreement what they're, they're supposed to submit their financials to us so we can. Yeah, I think, I think that's a, I think what, what we need to really do is every year you guys request people to come in to talk about their budget. If it's whether it's highway or whatever department. Yes. What's that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so what I would do is, Again, I I would call these, I would put your list together, who you want to see, so we could start, you know, putting them out so they know to come in to speak about their budget. Obviously, it's going to be in late February or early March, but those people really need to speak to you. Only thing we do is put the numbers in, and then they'll come and say, we want 10000 Then they should have to come here and explain why they want 10000 
versus the eight they had last year. I think the reason why places like Sandy Beach was weren't called in the last couple of years because it's always stayed the same. So if there's a something they want to add to it, we had, it we had to come them. to you guys. We had them come in. Like, no. Didn't you last year? Was it so. Sandy Beach that came in? They asked for eight thousand dollars for the last twenty years. I yeah. can't remember me. Well, no, but we had them come in to explain kind of the new. I thought they lead. came in. We've talked about the yeah. local agree or the agreement at least four times. Right. Yeah. So I, the only thing I'm saying is, if there's people we want that you know for sure you want to speak to, obviously highway is always the number one, and then firemen, um, you know, maybe beach and rec. If we could just start planning them out, we could do all in one night or two every night. It it doesn't really take long for them to explain what they're asking for. Library likes to come in, right? Um, so the sooner you can get that scheduled to Tom, Tom could you know try to work with them to see what night works for them and get them in to get it done. Um, you know, again, I just think that's easier. Same thing with Sandy Beach. They we won't request their. Maybe Tom will. Maybe they'll give it to Tom. But like I won't request their their budget wish. I, I'll talk about pension. Pension will go straight to Tom, with their what they want to do. Um, but Sandy Beach was usually just the, you know, key in the $8,000. Yeah. But I'm, what I'm curious about is, since I had just read the interlocal agreement, was what they're required to, to submit to the Board of Finance, you know, as part of the budget process, is, do you have any, we have no idea how much money they have in the bank. I know, I know, I agree. I think you should and do so, that. And we, and we don't have a sense of how much they collect. Yeah, exactly. Invite them in. Yeah. So, no, so, Send an invite. So I think we should ask them for this information yeah, ahead of the meeting, point. just so we have a chance to look yeah. at it, frame our questions. That's all. I'm not trying to nitpick on them, but having read the agreement, it's just fact finding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Honestly, I, th I think oh. you should do that for every fund. Yeah, yeah. You should do that for every fund, beach and. Oh, no, I agree. You should ask the library how much money they have because every year they yes. come in, they don't have money. You should talk. They would respond it like they said they were going to us. Yeah. For what? What's that? For what? The no, I'm saying, I'm saying the, the, you have the, library, you have peace is derived through collections on their own, right? And the budget, Beach and Rec never responded on that either. So, now, so note that down. What did Beach and Rec do? Well, Beach and well, Rec so, raises too. So, so there's various that. different departments, uh, library, Beach and Rec. Uh, even the fire department, to some degree, has fundraising. Uh, oh, to a lot of degree. What? Huh? What? Oh, I, I mean, I, I don't hold their... I'm sorry. I was just thinking the funds that I deal with. I deal with... No, no understood. So yeah. one of the things, I, I believe it was uh, Dave Fenn said last year that uh, one of the years, it would be nice to know how much they actually... They always do. Hmm? The only one that they always do. The only yeah. one that doesn't is... Beach and Rec gets a little growly about it. You know, just to know how much your fundraising actually saves the town. It's a total picture. Yeah. Yeah. And just be aware that don't penalize them for fundraising. Would no, no, no. I don't want to I don't want to penalize them. I want to raise them. them. You'd be the first board of finance member to ever want to do this. <laughs> That's why they get a little gun shy on the fundraising. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anything else, Rick, that you wanna make note of? No, I think no. Like I said I don't Again, anything you guys need, let me know. Um, again, I hopefully we can get this process going. I like I said, only I just like to see it go as smooth as possible. So if we can get whatever departments you want in, it just makes life a lot easier. Um, and you might want to wait for Tom to present the budget to see if there's anybody you actually need to speak to. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously you want to talk to some of them, but yeah, yeah. Again, I mean, last year you didn't do transfer station because he went down like twenty thousand dollars. You know, right? But you know, it just the more we can get ahead of it, the quicker we can get it done, and probably a lot smoother. Agreed. Totally agree. Okay. Uh, next item is approve the minutes from our December twelfth meeting. Uh, I sent those along. Someone want to make a motion to approve minutes? I'll make a motion. Approve the minutes from December twelfth. Scott. Anybody want to second that? Second. Tracy? Sure. Tracy. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Um, that brings us to any other new business we want to discuss? 
I don't have anything for tonight. I think our next meeting is in a couple of weeks. Um, do we want to try to? I think it's a little premature to bring in departments yeah. at this point. So, well, what comes first, chicken or the egg? Yeah. Do you want to bring them in before we know their budgets, or do you want to know the budgets for no. yeah. I will. I, I would wait till at least Tom presents the budget to see. You know, at least yeah. you know what they have. Uh, you just know what they're talking yeah. about. Right. Yeah. I mean, if you think if you if you want to bring them in, okay. All right. So when's our next meeting? Late evening. Our next meeting is the. I think the. Um, they'll go look, but I think it's the. Not next week, but the week after. So we're really not going to have much in terms of updated financials or anything. I mean, maybe a more updated collection rate as it's getting closer yeah. to the end of the month, but it's the, 20, 23rd. the 23rd. So we really, will, I mean, not until like February 6th is when it's every two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, unless something changes, I don't think you should meet on the 23rd just because there's, she's not going to have a collection rate because it's all due on the, it's all due on the 29th. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I, I mean, you might as well enjoy the time off. <laughs> we yeah. get into the budget. Well, what's the uh, estimated time to have the budgets back? Uh, yeah, that's. Time? I was going to ask that. February first. What, what is those? February first. He he um, requested all of them back so he can compile them together. Then, if he has questions, he'll speak to them um, and understand what they're really asking for. February first, you said. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we don't have to really meet to March. Yeah, I mean, I th I agree with Rick. Meeting in two weeks doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I would Being in say February, February sixth is. I mean, that'd be just more on the tax rate in terms of revenue and so forth. And if there's any overages, overages between now and February sixth, I mean, even if it's a short meeting, it would probably be just sort of worth it. And also, Tom might have the budgets are due February first. He might be able to say, "Hey, you know, give us something." Uh, that's just my two cents. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because when I we get the budget. February, so. huh? <laughs> but in being gone that week. So, well, we could, I mean, we could push it off to the end that of doesn't February. Matter, yeah. I don't think there's going to be anything until March. Yeah, same We're here. probably talking March 15th before you even look at the stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, February 6th. All right. Did we uh, know in the minutes uh, Carrie's passing? Just uh, not in the last, but these we will. These, yeah, will. I, I, I was going to ask if they couldn't be her her passing being noted. Sure, that's. <clears throat> okay. No public to be public comments. Um. It is 7.27. I'll make the motion to adjourn. Have a good one. When we get in, can I get a second? A second. <laughs> I was waiting for Phil to. Yeah. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Thanks, everyone. Enthusiastic. Appreciate Thanks. it. Have a good one. See ya. Thanks, Rick. Thanks. <laughs>